What's up everyone, it's Mike back again today, MF8. Thanks for tuning into the channel and I hope you're all doing very well indeed. Right, today you know we're not reviewing the Core RTA, the review for this has just gone up on the channel so please check it out if you haven't done already. What we're doing today is a little tutorial for you. Right, in my hand I have a iJoy 2700 battery. Now, there comes a time when you've had a battery for a few weeks, few months, you might notice you've got a couple of nicks or tears in the battery. Now, if you have, that's not really a very good thing at all, especially if you're using it in a mechanical tube mod, but even if you're using it in regulators. If you notice a tear or a nick, it's time to rewrap the battery or buy a new set. Now, rewrapping is a lot cheaper, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we do that. So without further ado, let's go down low and crack on with it. See you down low in a minute. Right, before we get on to doing the actual rewrap, I uh, just want to explain why the, the three types of battery which are common in vaping are actually named the way they are. Now, first look at the 21700. This one's from iJoy. If we get the calipers out and measure the diameter, you'll see we've got 21.6 now that the length of this is 70 millimeters so I don't really want to use calipers on it because I don't want to run the risk of uh, shorting the battery out but basically you've got 21 millimeters diameter 70 in length 21 70 and an extra O thrown on for good measure giving you 21 700 the name the same principle follows for the 2700 this one is 20 millimeters in diameter, 70 in length, and then the extra O on 2700. 18650s are 18 millimeters in diameter. They're 65 millimeters long, 18650. So that is why they are named the way they are. Right, so before we start, let's uh, look what we need in. I like using a heat resistant glove because I like to get my hair dryer nice and hot. We also need a hair dryer. Any normal household hair dryer will do. I've got a ceramic uh, tweezers here which we use to take the battery wrap off. Also remember, safety first, make sure you remove all jewellery from your fingers because you need to remember that with any type of battery like this, when you've got a wrap on, it's protecting the negative uh, from any contact with a positive, which is basically the positive is just this pin here. Once we remove that, the rest of it is the negative. So if any metal should cross between the positive and the negative, you'll get a hard short, which you really do not want with one of these batteries. So just make sure you remove all uh, jewellery from your hands. Right, we also need a wrap. Now, I bought these from Fogstar in the UK. I think 25 are about two or three pounds. So they come pre-cut, uh, just look like that. And they're just a tube, basically. You can also buy rolls of this stuff and cut it yourself. And we've also got some insulators. Now, I'm not sure if these fit the 2700s, but we'll have a look in a minute. But you can always just use the one that's already on your uh, battery. But uh, with this one, it doesn't look like it's in the greatest of nick, but we'll have a look once we get started. Right, so here we go then. Get your ceramic tweezers. I advise using ceramic ones, not anything metal. And you just hook it underneath and then basically just peel the old wrapper away. Right, there's the insulator. It doesn't look too bad. I'm just going to leave this one on to save uh, any hassle because I, I think these ones actually are for 18650s, I believe. So they might not be big enough. But um, yeah, nothing wrong with using the old one. Now, I'm just going to give this a slight wipe around just in case there was any juice ingress in the past. Right, get one of your wraps out. Right, these are just hollow, like you can see there. 
finger in there just open it up a little bit and just get your battery and it just slides on like that right so you need to judge how much to leave on either end Down a little bit, just push it over. You can have a look at one of your old batteries, see how they've done it. So, on the iJoy one, you can just see we, we don't need too much, so round about there, I reckon, should be fine. Right, so the best way of starting this then just hold that end and we'll do the top first so put it on its hottest setting right there you go we've got the top bit sealed already so it's just a case of going over the whole battery now now this is where i like to put my glove on and we can hold that Makes me feel like you do effect of you. Is it voodoo? Is it voodoo? It's like a hurricane twisting around the side of my brain. Tell me, honey, do you feel the same? We'll catch that train to a higher plane. Feelings running untamed. Let's not give the thing a name. Your smile gets through my day when things don't go my way. Right, so there's the end product. Obviously this battery is going to be really warm at the moment, so I'd advise leaving it for a good 10 or 20 minutes before you put it in your device. But uh, yeah, that is that. So simple as that, and we've now got one freshly wrapped 2700 battery. Right, so that was our 2700 battery wrapped. Now the same procedure can be used whether you're wrapping an 18650 or a 21700 battery. Now, I haven't actually seen the wraps for 21700s, but there could well be them out there on the internet, so do check it out. Now, I did do two of my Vapsa ones, so I did use the Foxstar 2700 wraps, and they ju did just about fit. But unfortunately, on my iJoy 21700s, they weren't quite wide enough. So, yeah, just do your homework, uh, have a look around the net, and I'm sure you'll be able to find the wi slightly wider version for the 21700. Uh, batteries but uh, yeah if you do have nicks or tears in your battery guys it, it's really advisable to either get rid of them or rewrap them because you don't want to short circuit on one of these uh, high drain high amp batteries because you could cause an explosion so just safety first if you're going to wrap them make sure you've got no metal on your hands it probably wouldn't make a difference but you don't want to risk it so just uh, just be safe guys so that's the end of the tutorial. If you did find it useful, please give it a little thumbs up. Uh, for anyone new that's just stumbled across the channel and you like what you see, consider subscribing and make sure you hit the bell notification to be notified of my latest videos. I've got my own website too. It's mf8.co.uk. My email address is mf8reviews at gmail.com and I can also be found on social media. We've got Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. So please check one of them out, so it'd be great to see you. So until next time guys, thank you all for watching and I'll see you again very soon. Cheers. <laughs>